What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about why, if you're a new player, you should not be stressing about the champion point system. If you're not to max champion points yet, if you're concerned about the new champion point system that's coming out, I know that's going to sound funny, but you really should not be stressed about it if you're a new player. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and be sure to check out everything down in the description. Uh, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT racing. If you're looking for anything like gaming chairs, desk, mouse, keyboards, mouse pads, anything like that, uh, GT racing offers a lot of great stuff. I use a lot of their products. So like I said, check out that link down in the description. Um, I, I know if you're a new player, the first thing you think is I, I need to hit level 50 and then I need to start grinding CP. And I can understand that. I mean, I would probably have, have the same, you know, mindset if I was just starting out playing ESO, you know, today or something like that. But CP is really not that important. It's not your main concern, in my opinion, if you are a new player. Uh, I know a lot of people that are, are new are, you know, worried they're not to 810 yet. They're worried this new champion point system is going to go to 3600. They just feel like they're so far behind now there's no point in playing the game anymore. And that's definitely not the case. Uh, there's a lot of players out there that have played for a long time, like myself, that are just now hitting 18 or have not hit 18. Uh, you know, a lot of people play different games. You know, they come just kind of come back to ESO here and there during uh, big DLCs and things like that. And you guys know here on the channel, I play different stuff. I don't play uh, the Elder Scrolls online every single day because I play other games, you know, that I do YouTube for and stuff like that. But just in general, it's always been a very fun game, but I know it can be stressful, like I said, for any new players because they're concerned that, they're going to be low CP. They're going to get kicked out of dungeons. They're not going to get invited to do things, you know, whatever the case may be. And now while you will find some people in the game that's going to kick you out of a dungeon, that's just how it goes. Believe me, I got kicked out of my fair share when I was leveling up. But overall, uh, you can find a lot of CP players out there that are max CP, you know, that are 810, that are not really that great even when they go into dungeons and or trials. And that's mainly because they don't know the mechanics. And I'm not going to pretend to sit here and be, uh, you know, like... Uh, the mechanic uh, knowledge god or something like that. Even, there's still things that I struggle with. I mean, I, I still make mistakes all the time when playing, you know, playing difficult content. But in my opinion, uh, it, it is better to me, even if you're lower CP, if you know the mechanics, you know how the game works, you know how to play, you know how to weave if you're a DPS, you know how to tank, you know how to heal if you're a healer. Uh, those things go a long way compared to what CP you are. So, I mean, I would rather honestly have somebody in a dungeon with me that is, you know, if they just hit 160 CP uh, or if they just hit 180, you know, 200, something like that, I would rather have somebody in you know, a normal dungeon with me that knows the mechanics than, you know, that is, is 18 and doesn't have any clue what they're doing. Because overall, that that's what you, you know, that, that's kind of what you're working for when you're playing the game. You want to be able to understand the mechanics uh, to be able to perform, you know, to what your play style is going to be or whatever your character build is going to be. And I think overall, a lot of people get concerned about uh, the CP system, because, you know, like I said, if you're a new player and you've, you've heard, you know, or you see that it's 18 and you hear that it's going to 3,600, it's just a, you know, kind of a, a mind blowing thing. That, that's a lot of CP. I'm never going to get there. Believe me, you're eventually going to get there if you continue to play. But overall, in my opinion, there is no hurry just to be grinding it out. You know, you need to be learning mechanics and things, because when it gets to the point of you doing more difficult content, if you know the mechanics, that's going to be uh more beneficial to you and of course whoever you're playing with than being you know a high cp level uh the only thing that i really would say is you know the one thing that you need to be concentrating on i guess would be getting to 160 because once you're to 160 of course you can keep all the gear that you find i guess that's the most important thing about cp in my opinion because the gear cap is at 160 so once you get to that point uh you know you're, you're able to keep all the gear you get in dungeons or, you know out in, uh, in overland sets that kind of thing so I can understand why some people, you know, try to get to that point, and that's perfectly fine. But after that 160 uh, uh, point, there's really no need in stressing about just trying to get all the CP as fast as possible because you feel like you're going to be a, a, a better player. You're going to be stronger just because you're 810. Just because you're 810, like I said, does not mean uh, you know everything that's going on. Uh, you still can mess up. Uh, you, if you don't know the mechanics and you're 810, like I said, it's not going to be that beneficial in the end anyway. Guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.